Hello, YouTube community. It's Nicole McKinney right back at you, uh, bringing you additional YouTube content specifically today in the Power Automate space. Uh, we've heard a lot of folks say that they want to hear and see additional content there. We've been asking those questions in our on our YouTube channel in the forums just to say, hey, what kind of information, you know, what kind of content are you interested in? We said Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps. And the resounding theme was let's get some additional Power Automate content out. So today that's exactly what we're going to do. Our content's going to be around um, a hypothetical situation. I like to kind of use real life business cases. So let's just say you have a project management platform. Maybe that's monday.com. Maybe that's ClickUp. Maybe that's Jira. You know, whatever tool you guys are using in-house for your project management software. Today, we're going to use that use case as a way to kind of go through a little bit of a small demo on how you can use uh, the data from that to then do notifications out via email to users when they get high or urgent stories that come into their queue. Uh, so for this, I'm going to quickly take you into uh, a database. And we are going to have it look around. So inside of our system, we actually use a tool called ClickUp for project management. And I'm just going to quickly walk you through kind of what uh, data I've got here in the system. So as you can see here, I've just got some mock data, nothing super sophisticated, um, a couple of high and low stories. Again, these usernames in theory would be like folks in your company. Ignore the fact that these are all just super random names tossed in there. Uh, and there's an email address, a task ID and a task status. So in real life, uh, you know, just for general awareness for our tool, our task ID um, actually is a unique ID that with the base URL. So for us, we use a tool called ClickUp. So with a base URL, you can actually add in this task ID at the end of the URL. And from there, you can actually link out to the actual story in the system. For this demo, because I'm using mock data, um, it won't be as relevant, but just keep in mind, if you have a system that you're using that has a standard base URL, and then the only difference is like a, a, a an ID associated with that particular story or task. You can make it dynamic. Um, if you have any questions on that, just let us know. Um, but without further ado, let's kind of get in and let's get started. All right. So the very first thing we're going to do in this case, because I'm going to keep this fairly simple just so we can get comfortable with how you would actually set this flow up. Um, so we're going to start off by just creating essentially uh, a simple flow uh, inside of Power Automate. So we'll just do an automated cloud flow. We'll call it, actually, let's cancel that. Let's do a instant cloud flow and let's call it uh, story notices in demo. If super creative name. Uh, so we'll start with that and we'll go ahead and we'll create the flow. All right, so as you can see, this is just going to be a manually created flow. Um, so that means we'll trigger this flow to actually run the function that we want it to run. Uh, so that's probably the very first most important step. Uh, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll just execute a query. Uh, that'll be the next step in this process. And so we'll go ahead and get that started. All right, so we'll hit add. And we might just want to put in the word SQL because usually that helps me find the location a bit better than trying to put in some of the text from the actual content. And so we'll hit execute a SQL query. In my case, my connection string is already going to be on display here, but you can manually add in new server connections. Uh, if you have issues connecting to your SQL server, let us know. But a lot of this content sits inside of your Azure environment because this is a cloud-based SQL. So if you go out, you can find that content that you can find that pretty quickly. Or if you're connecting with SSMS or another sort of query-based tool, I use Toad a lot. Um, you'll be able to get the connection string there, but in this case, I've already gotten mine kind of pre-populated here, so it'll just be a little bit simpler. And so as you can see here, so we've connected to the database and we've got our base um, details here. Let's go to this. I'm actually going to just grab the query details. Let's get rid of the top. We're going to add in just a bit more logic here.
Okay, perfect. So we've got our face query kind of all set up that we're gonna actually use. And we're gonna go ahead and put that into the query section of our Power Automate flow. So pretty straightforward here, as you can see, we're just dropping these details here. All I'm saying is, hey, I want you to go out and grab every story that's high priority in our system and bring it back. We're gonna execute a query that essentially brings back all of those records for us. And then the next thing we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and send an email. So we want an email notice to go out. So let's find the send an email notification. Oh, I missed one step because there could be actually multiple um, iterations of this. So in the step that I was just going to do, um, we wanna make sure we just don't forget to apply to each. That's a pretty important step because if we don't do that, uh, typically you might get like your top 10, you might get a single email. It never really works the way you want it to if you do not do your loop through function, basically to say, go out and apply this to every single instance of which we have a high uh, story out in our system. So just don't forget to do the apply to each. Now we'll hit send an email notification. I'm going to make this an advanced function because I want this, because I have an email address in there, I want it to be the email address of the user inside of the database. So I basically just switched to an advanced function and we're going to call out data from the actual database for this detail. Uh, for this one, we're going to say, So in this case, I've just grabbed some details. Again, I did kind of mention this. So let's just say you have dot click up. And in this case, there's usually like a, a name, a little bit of details after that, but you can actually then add in your task ID. And this will be the full URL that you could reach out to. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to do that because I know that this is all mock data. But do keep in mind that if you have like a base URL that you want to connect to and there's, and this is usually for all systems. So just use that, you know, use case for anything, but you can use that to give you a full URL so that folks can go directly out to the system to the task ID that's actually referenced as the high one in the story. And this, because it's a mock database, doesn't have real names. In theory, that team member name should be the name of you. You have a high importance. as quickly as possible. Super uh, detail. And then let's just grab some of the content, right? So that they can actually see, you know, what's referenced. So we'll grab the task level details so that the user will know exactly what's going on when they go out to check for this um, actual story. So now we'll hit save. Select an output from the previous step. I forgot to put in the output parameters. Uh, so the good thing is, is that Power Automate tries to make it as user-friendly as possible. So we'll save that. Just grab the result sets from the actual query that we ran a step above for this to actually work. All right, we can go back. Oops, let's go ahead and... Oops, let's not send a copy. Let's hit the run icon. Let's just go ahead and run this one. So I was gonna hit the test flow uh, because it, I got kicked out because I was moving too quickly. Uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll test the flow out and just let it run. And then what we'll expect are a couple of things. So we'll go out here to, we're gonna expect to see an email come through. That's kind of the main thing we're gonna go look for right now. All right, so as you can see, immediately we're getting some details on the stories that are in high. So these are the content of the high stories from the database. And now we're kind of getting all the emails coming through, notifying us of the actual story and the details associated with that story. Uh, you can clean this up and make it even more sophisticated. And you can set this up to be an automated flow too. In this case, I wanted to keep it super simple so that you can actually walk through it and have a potential real life use case where maybe you've got data in a SQL server. And when certain records are updated in that SQL server, you want to be able to get a notice out to uh, various team members. In this case, I actually used very specific details for who was going to get those um, emails and those notices. 
But what I'll say is that you can make this as uncustom or custom as you'd like. So you can change the email to just a set user and you can give them whatever details you think relevant from that SQL server that you want them to be notified about. So you can use this use case in all sorts of you know business opportunities that we ha you may have. So I think there's lots of use cases for it. Hopefully this content was helpful. Hopefully it was uh, insightful. Hopefully it was fast, right? We get it under 15 minutes. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. If you have any questions or if you want additional content to come your way, feel free to reach out to us. Use the YouTube chat for that. We do have some folks who've reached out to us for a couple of things. I think I put out maybe a more rudimentary video, maybe on Power Apps, and some folks were asking us some questions on that. I've got all those things in my purview, and my plan is to go ahead and start creating content for it. Um, but again, feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hopefully you found the content today helpful. And we look forward to bringing you additional content in the weeks ahead. We'll talk to you soon.